Bethlehem is usually busiest at Christmas as tourists flock to see the reputed birthplace of Jesus. But this year, war has driven away tourists and pilgrims from the Palestinian town in the Israeli-occupied West Bank. It's left hotels, restaurants and souvenir shops deserted. Global headlines have been dominated since October 7th by news of the Hamas attacks in southern Israel. They were followed by Israel's military assault on Gaza and a rise in violence in the West Bank. Joey Canavati is a hotel owner whose family has lived and worked in Bethlehem for four generations. Everybody lives from tourism here in Bethlehem. And when everything is shut down, the whole city, the whole country is shut down. It's unbelievable. This is the worst Christmas ever. Bethlehem's local economy is heavily reliant for income and jobs on visitors who come to see the Church of the Nativity. Christians believe it stands on the site where Jesus was born. Canavati said his hotel was fully booked for Christmas before October 7th, but things have drastically changed since then. The hotel is completely empty. We have no guests, no one, even plus we have bookings for 2024 are all cancelled. So we were expecting a very good year for 2024. But now all what we get on the email is cancellation after cancellation after cancellation. So it is a catastrophe. Bethlehem's manger square is in front of the Church of the Nativity and usually serves as a key point for Christmas celebrations. But it was quiet and almost empty. Ronnie Tabash runs a souvenir shop there. This time of year, usually we have full of festivals. Bethlehem, it's the best place in the world in this time. This is Christmas time where Jesus was born in Bethlehem. So for us, this time is really very difficult. We are almost two months without any pilgrim, any tourist. Alas Salama runs a falafel restaurant and he too has seen visitor numbers fall. We are praying for, for peace, for peace, you know. Bethlehem is the, the city of, uh, where peace was born. So uh, it should be the messenger for peace to be spread all over the world.